Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today I'm going to share with you my evening skincare routine. So a few days ago I posted my morning skincare routine and I didn't want to do all of it in one video because it would just be too long. So I thought I would separate them and now I'm going to share with you what I do at night. Now just as a quick reminder, what I use is for my skin and my skin type um, you know, I obviously have mature skin, but um, my skin is rather normal, a little bit combo. I do get oily in the T-zone occasionally, but most of all, my skin tends to be dehydrated. So I look for products that are very hydrating and plumping to the skin. And then I also want um, products that um, have some anti-aging properties to them to help with my mature skin. So um, let's jump in with my routine and um, make our way through. Um, if you have questions about any of the products or steps in this routine, because I do switch off a little bit, um, you can ask them in the comments below and I will try to get back to you. So um, I know people had some questions in the AM routine as well. Um, before I get started, the one thing I want to address, and I get questions on this all the time and I got them in my AM skincare routine as well, is um, people asked me you know what I use on my neck and decollete. So I use the same products I use on my face all the way down my neck and on my chest. Um, and this works really well for me. I have tried many, many different neck creams um, over the years. And when I was um, working at Neiman Marcus, you know, I had access to a lot of very expensive ones and I used many, many of them. And while I think they're very nice and they do, you know, the neck feels good and hydrated, I think that for me, I didn't see dramatic results with any of the neck creams that I tried. And so for me, I just stick with what I'm using on my face and I use that on my neck. Um, and that has worked for me. I, I think a lot of people buy a neck cream and they think that, you know, it's a neck lift in a jar and it just isn't. If you have sagging on your neck or around your jowls, no neck cream is gonna firm is gonna firm that. That has to be for the most part, unless it's very, very slight, that has to be surgically lifted. Or, you know, there's some non-surgical versions of that now. Um, but you know, people expect sort of this neck lift in a jar, and that, in my opinion, does not exist. Um, I will say there is one product that I used on my neck and jaw area that I felt really did show me some improvement, and it took a full bottle before I started realizing, you know what, this really did give me some lift. It is expensive, but, and it's not specifically designed for the neck, but um, I wanted to mention it for those of you who are curious. Um, I might purchase it again. Um, it's something, it's expensive, I wouldn't use it all the time, but it definitely did help with the vertical lines here and it just did firm this area, you know, just a little bit to where it was noticeable to me. Um, and it is the Chantikai Nano Gold Firming Treatment. It looks like this. I will put a link to it below. So this is made to use all over your face. You, you can use it on your neck as well. Um, and that's what I used. I just like every night sort of worked it onto my neck and jawline. And once I was almost through with my first bottle of it, I really started realizing that it definitely was improving this area of my neck. And I would definitely, I think I went through two bottles of it. I would definitely consider purchasing it again if this area starts for me, you know, to, to look a little droopy. But so far I've been able to maintain my results with what I'm using now. So let's jump in and get started. That, I had to blow my nose really quick. The allergy season here has not died down yet. So I'm having a little bit of an allergy struggle. Okay, so in the evenings, the first thing I do is remove all of my makeup. And I use two different things to do that. The first thing I do is take my eye makeup off with the Garnier Micellar Water. Um, this is a really nice product for removing eye makeup. You can also um, put it on the a cotton pad and remove your face makeup with it as well. I wouldn't use this as my only makeup removal step, but it definitely removes my eye makeup without a problem. I think if you use waterproof eye products all the time, mascara specifically. This takes off waterproof eyeliner. This I struggle with this with um, 
waterproof mascara, but it's rare that I use waterproof mascara. So I love the Garnier product. In my opinion, it works just as well as the Bioderma. It's less expensive and you can buy it at your drugstore now here in the States. So I love this stuff. It's very inexpensive. Then um, to get the rest of my face makeup off, I like to use a cleansing oil. Um, I switch off between my cleansing oils all the time. The one you know that I'm using right now and I think works really, really great is the MAC cleansing oil. It's very affordable. I don't think this has any mineral oil in it. Um, you just put a couple pumps of this in your hand, work it onto dry skin so you don't want your skin to be wet. You don't mix this with water or anything at first. You just work it all over your skin. You can actually remove your eye makeup with this. If, it, if you do not have sensitive eyes. My eyes are too sensitive to use the oil on them, but if you have waterproof mascara on, this will remove it. So um, it just leaves a little gooiness in my eyes and then I get irritated and then I end up with pink eyes. So um, I have to really be careful of what I take my eye makeup off with. But this works beautiful to take all of my makeup off. I work it all over my face, down my neck. Then you wet your hands and then redo it with just wet hands and then that breaks the oil down and emulsifies the oil and you can then rinse it off. I use a cloth to take my um, makeup off. Um, I just find that that works best for me, but this is a great product. When I use this um, oil, I don't feel like I have to do a double cleanse. So um, for me, that's great. My other favorite um, cleanse off oil is the Tatcha cleanse off oil, but Again, that is a special treat for me. I don't buy that all the time. This is my go-to. This MAC one is affordable for me and it works great. Okay, so once I have all of my makeup off, um, here's where the fun begins. So, and a couple of these steps are gonna, I don't do every day, so I'll try to share that with you. So, once I have my makeup off, several days a week, I try to shoot for three. I go in with a derma roller. This is an old one um, that I'm not using anymore, but for those of you who aren't, it's a micro needling device, derma roller. You're, you're, you will hear them called many different things, but basically it's just a roller that has hundreds of little needles on them and you run it all over clean skin. Um, you know, I use it pretty aggressively on areas of my neck that I want to make sure stay firm, my jawline. I go all over my face, I go over this area of my eye, I go over this part of my brow. Um, three times a week I will use one of these. Um, I started with, I talked about this quite a while ago, I started with one that is 0.25 millimeters. I'm now using one that is 0.5 millimeters, so a little bit deeper. Um, for me, this device has delivered amazing results. So what the device does, for those of you who don't know, I don't want to like make the video too long, but it, you know, it causes a little bit of damage to the skin and so the skin has to start repairing itself so it produces collagen and elastin and all those good things to repair itself, which, you know, helps plump the skin and get rid of fine lines and wrinkles. It has definitely helped firm this area of my brow as well. So this is looking just a little bit more lifted. A lot of people have asked me, did I get some Botox? Did I have something done? I haven't done anything. I do think it's partly because of some products I'm using and this device. Um, this has really helped get rid of some of my fine lines that um, I have fine vertical lines here um, that really this has improved dramatically and it has helped my lip lines some. Um, I wish it would help more, but um, you know, I'm still at it. But I do think if you have mature skin, investing in a device like this is important. Um, they're not very expensive. I wouldn't buy the cheapest one you could find. I'll try to link a couple of them below, but you can get them. You can get a nice one for probably 20, 30, 40 bucks. They're nice. Um, and it definitely, if you haven't ever used one of the, it won't draw blood or anything like that. Um, you'll want to wash it every time you use it. Um, you want to keep it very, very clean because it is going to make micro holes in your skin and you don't want um, any infection or any, you know, bacteria transfer or anything like that. This is an old one. That's why I'm touching it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be touching it. So a few days a week, I will do that right after I cleanse. Every day, I then, after my cleanse, will spray my face like I do in the morning with the Timeless... Um, hyaluronic acid spray. I love this for just cooling down the skin, soothing it a little bit um, before you're going to put your serums on. The other thing having a slightly damp face will do is make your serums spread easier. So you know how sometimes you, you should just be using a little bit of your serum but you feel like it takes more to get it to spread around. Having a slightly damp face will allow you to use less and get it spread all over the areas that you want to cover. So I think that works 
really, really well for me. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, you know, I've used all kinds of different essences. I will switch up this product quite a bit, but I this is the one I'm using right now, and I really like it. It works really well, and um, I think this bottle's like it lasts a long time. It's four ounces, but you you know you only use a couple sprays, and I think it's like 15 bucks or something like that. So very affordable. Okay. Now here's where I switch off between a couple of different serums. So yes, I have reduced the number of steps, but I do switch off between a couple of things. I like to use a retinol in the evening, but I also like to use, um, you know, sort of um, an alpha hydroxy acid as well to, you know, help brighten and refine and that kind of thing. So my retinol right now, and I'm going to talk about two different products, but I am using this right now, and it is the I've talked about it before. It is the Kate Summerfill. Retisphere Micro Peel. So this is a um, retinol treatment product that you, they suggest you use every other night, and that's kind of what I do with it. Um, it is a more. This actually has retinol and glycolic in it, um, but you know you need to be using a retinol in the evenings if you have um, mature skin. I, my skin cannot tolerate Retin A no matter what I do. It just it's constantly irritated, constantly peeling, even when I start with a really light one. So. Um, my dermatologist has suggested that I, you know, just use a retinol product and not actual Retin-A. Um, so, right now I am using the Kate Somerville Retisphere. This is um, this is a fairly strong product, but it, it isn't vastly irritating. After a few times, my skin started getting used to it, and it wasn't all inflamed and that kind of thing. So, after a week or so of using it, my skin kind of got used to it. Um, so I really like it. The other retinol product I like, this is more of a sort of gel consistency. It, it's in a tube with a pump, so um, it's very, you know, um, clean and that kind of, and easy to use and that kind of thing. But um, if you like a lighter weight retinol, my other favorite one, and I might go back to it, I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet, is the Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion PM. So this is a... Um, Pure and potent micro encapsulated retinol, 1.5%, and it also has vitamin C and E in it. So I really like this. This just comes with a dropper. It's very, very liquid. This my skin really, really loves. So I may go back to this when I'm done with the Kate Somerville. They're both very, very good. So I will use a retinol one night, and then I will use the Sunday Riley Good Jeans treatment the next night, and then I just, I just alternate back and forth with these two products. Um, this is really good with, you know, sort of lightening some hyperpigmentation that I have. It, um, it does leave the skin a little radiant because I think it's like, I think there's something in it that is supposed to stimulate circulation and that kind of thing. But I really like this and I find for me that if I use a retinol one night and then this the next and just switch off back and forth between them, my skin stays really smooth. Um, I still get the anti-aging benefits, but I also get the benefits of using, um, you know, something like this type of exfoliator as well. So those are the two serums I go back and forth with throughout the week. Um, once I use my serum, I go to my eye cream just like I do in the morning. And right now the one I'm using and loving in, at night is um, the Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion Eye Cream. I really like this. Um, it, it comes in a bottle with a pump. It's not crazy expensive. It's a really nice weight. It spreads very nicely under the eye, and I do think this also has really helped firm this area of my eye and lift my brows ever so slightly. Um, I do think it's made a difference, and so I will continue to purchase this product and use it. I really, really do believe in it. Um, yeah, again, this has a 1% retinol in it. Um, so it's great for, this is something you would only want to use in the evening as well. Um, when you're using retinols like this all the time, you should do it anyway, but if you're using retinols, you need to be using a sunscreen during the day. Don't like do all of this stuff to help improve all the, you know, all these great anti-aging products and then, you know, let the sun destroy your skin again. So I like, I can't stress that enough. Um, Make sure, make sure, make sure you're using sunscreen during the day. Your skin is going to be more sensitive as well if you're using the retinol products. Um, so once I'm done with that, I go to my night cream. And the night cream that I've been using, I don't know, this is probably my third or fourth tube of this. I love this stuff. It's the Skin Medica TNS Ceramide Treatment Cream. So this has the TNS product in it, so it has the Growth Factor product in it, but it also has ceramides in it, and it's a nice hydrating cream. It comes in a tube. I love that. 
and it's not crazy expensive. So this is two ounces, which is a lot for a facial moisturizer. It's a lot. Um, and I, I, I want to say it's around $70, which is really good. And I love the way this works for me, for my nighttime moisturizer. You know, it just gives you that last bit of... Um, this is made for dry skin or post-procedure skin. So it has a lot of things in it to help repair the skin and hydrate and moisturize it. And for me, nighttime, this works really, really well. I'm trying to see if it says anything else that... Um, blend of TNS and peptides helps restore the skin's moisture balance. Um post-procedure. So you can use this during the day and night if you don't like to use two different um, moisturizers, but I like the Benigma for daytime, so I use this one at night. But if you're not a fan of the Benigma, you could definitely use this day and night. It's not super heavy. It's heavy enough that I can use it all winter long here. Um, but it's very affordable and I think it really, really works and makes the skin look beautiful. So these are my evening time steps. Occasionally, I will throw a mask in at night as well, although not as often as I used to for sure. I try to stick, I try to use my masks in the daytime when I think they plump the skin the most, and that's when people are going to see you, and that's when, um, so that's when I tend to use them, and less at night. Um, so these are my steps in the evening. Um, if you have any questions, again, please post them in the comments and I will try to get back with you on them. Um, hopefully you guys found this helpful. That is it for today. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and I will talk to you all again soon.